Okay, so my presentation is about Louis Bourgeois. To start off, learn about Louise. Fun fact, she was born on Christmas, December 25th, 1911. She grew up on choisy le roi I don't know if I said that right, but that is where she grew up in Paris. And she was named after her father, Louis. She was named after her, after her father because her father wanted to have a son. So he really wanted to name her Louis. But, you know, she's a girl, so Louise had to do. Louise had a fun uh, relationship with all of her family. She had a great relationship with her mother because her mother was like her best friend. Um, But her mother got sick um, with the Spanish flu. Um, And her father had a mistress who lived in the house, okay? So these relationships will show up in her art a lot later um, in Luisa's life with her sculptures and stuff because her mom, when she was sick, Luisa had to stay home and take care of her mother. So she wasn't as well educated because she had to stay home and she couldn't go to school. And so uh, her family, I'm guessing her father, hired a tutor to live with them so they could still get the proper schooling but that tutor ended up being her father's mistress so but it's okay it added to her artworks a lot um so earlier in Luisa's years she did a lot of printmaking and painting printmaking was like her specialty so she did that a lot and these two pieces, I picked these two because they relate a little bit to the sculptures she does later, because the one with the tall buildings, the black and white one, um, one of her first pieces that was 3D, more sculptural, was towers just like that, but in 3D. And I chose the other one because it, it looks like her spiders, which will, I will talk about a little later. So that's why I picked those two. Um, And the beginning of her career, it didn't, her pieces weren't as personal. She didn't get too personal with the pieces. And by the 1940s, she switched to sculptural. Um, So one of her first more popular sculptures was the, what she called cells. And a quote by her says, each cell deals with fear. Oops. Each cell deals with fear. My reminiscence helped me live the present and I want them to survive. I'm a prisoner of my emotions. You have to tell your story and you have to forget your story. You forget and forgive. It liberates you. So this is how Louise relived her childhood. And I guess as she relived these pieces that she's showing everyone, it's how she could forget it and live with herself. Another thing that was very common in Luisa's work is her spirals. She, I didn't know this, I thought her spirals were just her 3D sculptural work, but she also did it um, in her printmaking as well. So I added a picture of those too, but it happens a lot in her sculptural as well with the person spiral on the right. Um, the spirals were to represent control and freedom. She first had the idea because when she, uh, her parents worked on a tapestry, like they had a bunch of tapestries and she had to go ring them out in the river every once in a while. And so the spirals represent, you know, when she had to ring the tapestries out and she had a dream of ringing the neck of her father's mistress, because she did not like her at all. Ooh, and now the spiders. The spiders were probably her most popular sculptures and the most well-known. Um, these were made near the end of her career and life. She never ended her career. She just kept going, okay? 
like the last sculpture she made was like a few weeks to a week before she died. She wouldn't quit. Um, and another quote about her spiders is, the spider is an ode to my mother. She was my best friend. Like a spider, my mother was a weaver. My family was in the business of tapestry restoration and my mother was in charge of the workshop. Like spiders, my mother was very clever. Spiders are friendly presents that eat mosquitoes. We know that mosquitoes spread diseases and therefore unwanted. So spiders are helpful and protective, just like my mother. And again, that shows her amazing relationship with her mother. And I think it's kind of sweet how she ended off with these because she, even after all those years, she, her mother was still her best friend. Um, so Luis's techniques, like I said earlier, she started with printmaking uh, and she did it for a while um, until she abandoned printmaking and started you know, experimenting with sculpting, uh, with bronze, marble, and plaster. And then for the cells, she ended up using, like, almost anything she had in her house. She used some of her clothes for furniture. So by the end, she pretty much used, like, anything. And is Luis's art successful? I would say yes, because her art is how she dealt with her childhood trauma. Um, so it was like a therapy for her. And she puts a lot of meaning into each piece. At the beginning, not too personal, not as much meaning in each piece. Um, but then as she got more personal and had more stories to these pieces, they ended up actually getting way more popular. Um, and that's pretty much it. She had a great career. It just kept getting better and better. And yeah, that's Louis Bourgeois. Thank you.